Hey guys, it's John here. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. And uh, today's shave, I'm going to be using the official Shaveette World Han Polo, which is by Crown King is PAA. Um, it's their luxury version, I guess. So I'm going to try to use this today. And uh, it's based after their original Polo Steeplechase, from what I understand. And it's, um, that is based on Polo Green, which came out in 1978. And it's leather, wood, tobacco, basil, and oak moss. So that's gonna be my soap today. And I'm gonna be matching it up with the aftershave splash, which is alcohol based. My razor today is going to be this Parker SRW Shavette with a Persona Red in it. And I just got this in the mail today along with another Parker. And I, I like the Parkers, it seems, because these two, little, these two little posts that are in here that hold the blade down, they seem to be more deep. They're not rounded or shallow. They're they stick out pretty good so let's see how that works out for me um, the blade is like I said a persona red and I just snapped it in half and took half of that blade out and I'll be matching that up with my Parker it's the IHST brush from Parker it's a silver tip faux ivory so let me uh, let me pour out a little bit of this water on the top, the bloom water. I'm not sure how I feel about the scent of this soap, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not a big leather guy. So we'll have to see how it feels. I'm sure the soap, it's a coke and butter soap, so I'm sure it's going to be nice and luxurious, but I got to I got to see how it feels um, after the first pass or so. I'm not a big leather guy, uh, leather and wood and tobacco and oak moss. Me personally, I mean, I don't know. But I haven't even used it yet, so let's give it a shot and see what it what it does. Wow, this thing is loaded to the hilt, so let's, uh, let me, uh, whew. let me put some water in this brush. This is my first shave on YouTube that I'm using a shave at. So bear with me and I'm going to give you my uh, take on the Shavette. Being a straight razor shaver, an SE shaver, a DE shaver, and now I've decided to delve into the, uh, the Shavette. And I don't want to, I like to be well rounded, honestly, I do. So I'm going to try this out. Um, I've done a few shaves now with the... Uh, with the Shavette and haven't had any kind of big issues with it. Um, I think part of that is that I already am a straight razor guy, so I kind of get an idea of what I'm doing with it, but it is different. I don't want you to think that this is like shaving with a straight razor. Um, the blade is much less in width for this type of Shavette, so I'm going to be doing three passes on my, on my cheek where I normally would only have to do two. So it's a little different, but technique is everything. So just work on your technique. So 
So I used the same towel that I would use for my straight razor and I just wiped the blade off. So I'm, I'm thinking, to be honest with you, um, I probably owe the Chevette world an apology. Um, I was never one of those guys that said, don't use a Chevette, Chevettes are no good. But I did prefer to not even try it based on just listening to other people's complaints. And I should not have done that. I Now, I'm, I believe that Chevettes are not they have their place, and there's no reason why you shouldn't have one or two or three. And um, I think that once you figure out which blade works best with your Chevette, you can get a really, really comfortable shave. And I believe that there is a place now. I think that everyone should learn how to, if you can master a Chevette, then it's, it's a good thing. It really is. I think that that was the end of my first pass. Absolutely fine, perfect. I closed my blade just like I normally would. And uh, I'll just, uh, let me feel this. So this soap is nice and slick. So now it's my second pass. I'm going to put a little more water in my soap. It seems pretty thirsty. And what I'm seeing is the more water I add, it seems the better I like the scent. Um, it seems to be coming out on the second pass here. And it's, um, it's not as much of the leather that I'm getting now as the tobacco and the wood. So... And it's got a good amount of cushion. I need to be able to see what I'm doing with the Chevette. So I take my time a little bit on this shave, just so you guys know. Um, but overall, so far, very, very pleasant. Let's do a uh, against the grain pass
So I must admit, I definitely like the Persona in there better. Uh, I love Persona blades, so I like this better than than the, the last one I used. Up, oh, someone's horn just went off. Very nice. Up, oh, I gotta. I always get one right under my neck. Always. Sounds like my wife is home. Let's see this. Get this right here. Okay, let's uh, close the blade, wipe off a little bit. Not, not bad, not bad. And honestly, um, whether I'm shaving with a straight razor or a DE or an SE or a Shavette, there's no way of knowing if you're gonna get a cut or not. Um, that happens, period. It just happens. Very nice. This soap is is really nice. Look at this. It's fantastic. Plenty, plenty of soap left. Very nice. After the first pass, um, I'm finding that I like it a little better. Um, more of the uh, woodsy tobacco scent come out for me. Very nice. Very good, guys.
Excellent. There's my first three pass shave that I videoed. And I used the Parker. Very good. That's a Parker SRW Shavette with a Persona Red Blade broken in half in it. And of course I use the uh, Parker um, IHST brush, which is the silver tip with the faux ivory handle. And that goes together. My soap today was Crown King's Shavette World's Han Polo, which is a takeoff of Polo Green. And uh, it ended up, the, I wasn't sure I was going to like it at first, but it kind of grew on me throughout the uh, den. And uh, the woodsy and the tobacco came out a little more than the leather. So this one, I will keep. It's a keeper. Let's, uh, let's shake it up and try the aftershave. And it is an alcohol based, so I expect a little bit of burn since I got a couple of Chevettes deserve Chevettes deserve their rightful place in the wet shaving world, and I truly believe that. And I think that anybody that needs to learn or is interested in finding out, I will put the link below to see if they would like to join Shavet World on Facebook and talk to Ronnie. Um, he's an expert in the Shavet, and he's been teaching me along with all of the other members. So thank you for watching my shave. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below, of course. And... Uh, have a wonderful day and have an even better shave at shave. Take care, my friends.